finally I'm able to see one of the most beautiful places in Kenya, Watamu. If you want crystal clear water and white sand beaches, this is one of the best places to go and we are going there today. In this video I'm also giving you an update about Charles donations because we had many issues but at the end we were able to buy some gifts for his family. These are the old mattresses, we have removed them out and now we want to take the good ones we have just bought. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Yeah, Mama Maria. Mama Maria. Hey. 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 morning guys from Malindi. Today we are actually gonna leave Malindi and head to Watamo. Watamo is the special place here in Kenya. They say that's where you have the most beautiful beaches in Kenya so I'm really excited to check it out. Before going from Malindi to Watamu, I stopped quickly at the Malindi airport to do the vaccine for the yellow fever, otherwise I cannot leave Kenya and go to Thailand without the vaccine, so I stopped quickly to do it. So you can go to any airport in Kenya, there is a small office that they do the yellow fever vaccine. You pay 4,000 shilling, they give you a shot, they give you the certificate and then you are done. But you have to do it at least 10 days before you fly out of Kenya. So after Kenya I'm going to Thailand and I need a yellow fever vaccine. After the vaccine, halfway from Malindi to Watamu, there is a beautiful, beautiful place which is called Jacaranda Beach or some people also call it Safina Beach. And this place when there is the low tide is simply mind blowing. So I stopped there on my way to Watamu and I actually met with Federico and Charles. They came all the way from Mombasa to meet me there and enjoy the beach together. Gabriel, nice. my name is Bob. Nice to meet you, yes. Bob. Huh? Chelai? Ah no, non c'è niente bro. All right guys, we made it to Jacaranda Beach. This place, it's unbelievable. It's probably the best place on the entire coast of Kenya. It's just 20 minutes ride from Watamu, so you just take a motorbike or a tuk-tuk or a taxi and you come here, you wait for the low tide and it's purely magic. It's, it's crazy how beautiful it gets. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. It's amazing. Look at this. And then hour after hour, the tide will get lower and lower and the colors will keep changing. You can walk basically all the way into the ocean. It's truly so, so beautiful. My new friend Mohammed <laughs> from Malindi. Yes. Yeah, you live in paradise here. Yeah, you have a very beautiful place. Hakuna Matata. Coconut. Molto benvenuti, Gabi. Grazie. Benvenuti al nostro paradiso. È paradiso, davvero. Sentiti a casa. Grazie. That's amazing, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this one. I don't want anything to do with Aragosta is Italian. After Jacaranda Beach, I took my motorbike and I head to Watamu, which is just like 15-20 minutes ride and I arrived to Watamu. Alright guys, let me give you a tour of this beautiful apartment here in Watamu. This is the entrance here. Look at this nice terrace, you have a sofa here, dining table, I really love these curtains. And here is the entrance, then here we have the kitchen area, big kitchen, then here we have the bedroom. So this is the access to the upstairs, let me show you. And here you also have this rooftop area and this is a massage table. And I paid $110 for three nights. I think it's a good price for the kind of apartment. Watamu and Malindi are also popular for parties, nightlife. If you are in Watamu and it's Saturday night, don't miss Papa Remo beach party because it's a lot of fun and so many people come here for this party. 
But before we continue with the exploration of Watamu, let me give you an update about Charles' donation and what is going on. So first, let me give you a quick recap. We visited Charles' family before Christmas. We had a wonderful time there. <laughs> To be honest, I was a little bit shocked when I saw the mattress where they sleep on. This is like a foam. It's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone, man. It's gone. Yeah. I bought the bed and the others sleep here on the floor. So, like, if I can get two mattresses. Yeah. yeah. And after that, we also created a PayPal account for Charles so him and his family can receive some donation to buy new mattresses, to buy food, to buy clothes for the kids, and ideally to buy also tuk tuk for Charles. You guys were amazing. And just after a few hours, Charles started to receive donations. But then, after a couple of hours, PayPal decided to suspend Charles' account, and then he received an email that they terminate his account permanently. So he cannot use PayPal anymore and he cannot take the donations. Actually, PayPal never gave a clear explanation why they suspend Charles account but most probably because he received a lot of donation in a short amount of time and also in Kenya there are a lot of scam with PayPal so probably just to be safe they decided to shut it down so then Federico decided to put his own PayPal in the description of the video so he could receive some donation and give it to Charles straight away he received a few hundred dollars in about 24 hours and with that money finally Charles were able to buy something for his family they bought some new mattresses which was the most important thing they bought new chairs thank you these are the old mattresses we have removed them out and now we want to take the good ones we have just bought inside so we say thank you very much as you see they are very old and worn out so we have removed them outside the house now we are taking the good ones inside the house as you can see it's done Oh my god! <laughs> and they also bought a smartphone for Charles so he can access the email, he can access WhatsApp, and ideally he can also start a business with a smartphone. So Charles and his family are very very grateful for the donation and for the support of you guys. Even though he didn't receive like a big amount and he couldn't buy a tuk-tuk, he's still very very thankful. So thank you so much guys for your support. Say thank you! Thank you! Let's continue now with the exploration of Watamu. <laughs> There you go, the coffee. The meaning of Watamu is a sweet person here is Watamu. Oh man. Yeah. So you guys are uh, sweet. I, I um, <laughs> I'm looking like sweet, my friend. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm ordered a coffee here at the reggae bar. These guys are already stoned at 8 30 in the morning. They told me they start to smoke very early and then they continue all day. Your friend catch it. Look at these fishes man. They're massive. That's a tuna. That's tuna. The tuna fish. Okay. Big fish. Yeah. yeah. That's a good catch. Uh, welcome to a town. <laughs> so this one, guys, all the way from there, here, 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 there. It's all like a private property, private villas, and they're owned by Italians. And it's crazy because in Kenya, you can actually own the land. And this one is like beachfront land. You can just buy it and build your house and it's yours. You know, most of the places around the world, you cannot buy the land. You cannot own the land. For example, Thailand, Vietnam. Foreigners, they cannot buy the land. But here in Kenya, you can. And this is the result. You own half of the beach. But this is boiled egg with tomato and onion. What is the name of this? Mayai. 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 Is the kitchen? Mayai. Credo che sia pomodoro e cipolla. Sale. No, no, questo. It's too late. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. This is probably the most beautiful place, yeah. In the world, are you say? Yes, yes. In the world. Federico is saying that this is the best, the most beautiful place in the world. See how Atom is beautiful? beautiful. Really beautiful. Charles Bajaja. Charles Bajaja, <laughs> the king of the East Coast. The king of the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> the king of the East Coast. You have to enjoy it, yeah? <laughs> Grazie. Io si chiama Mamma Maria. Mamma Maria. Eh, piacere. Piacere. Salama. Salama. Sasa io mi lavoro che a bancare ah. Guardare anche di aiutare i bambini. Che figli tanti. Tanti figli. Guardare Cinque. non costa niente. Guardare no. Eh. Comprare sì. <laughs> Guarda la calamita. Uh, no, this is a fresh fish. This is a fresh fish. Yeah. 
direct from the sea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hiding, bro. <laughs> I have to hide. So you just cook me a chicken. Yeah. And you say that you just kill one to make it for me. <laughs> that is crazy. It cannot get more fresh than this. So before they had two, and then he killed one and he served me the chicken with the french fries. Push, push, push. Okay. Oh, he's the lion. This is mind blowing. Our friend Gabriel was waiting for this moment. Eh? Traveled all the way to come and enjoy. Watamu is Watamu, eh? Watamu is Watamu. Yeah, Watamu is one of the best places in the world. Ah, bro, vivo si. Si può provare e mettere la tomba questo corallo vivo questa qua. Stella ragno questa. Stella ragno? Sì. Questo riccio buono questo da mangiare. Sì, sì. fresco, vivo. Fresco, vivo, vedi che muove. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, I'm going to end the video right here. This is my experience in Watamu. What an amazing place. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever been to Watamu. Share your experience down below. And in the next video, I'm going to explore another beautiful and very popular beach destination here in Kenya. This is probably the most popular one and it's called Diani Beach. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.